Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to talk about how to put a custom recovery partition onto your phone. This is going to allow you to put custom ROMs and other things on your device. So of course you need an unlocked phone that is not locked into a carrier, which means you cannot owe any money on it or anything. And it also has to support uh, customization, unlocking bootloaders, things like that. Now, some of the newer phones, we do not actually need to do this step. So my understanding is the Pixel 1 utilizes a different structure, but most phones you still are going to need to do something like this. Now, alternatively, you might just want a better recovery partition, uh, which frankly is a good thing too. And um, TWRP, I'll call it TWRP throughout this video, is absolutely one of the best ones out there. So what we're going to do, and this device, if you are following along, is a Nexus 5X. You're going to find the steps are going to be similar, but each phone is slightly different. The other thing, make sure that you are aware, is this is going to wipe your device. So do not do this uh, without having proper data backups and understanding that you are going to need to uh, reboot your device. So on our main screen, we are going to go to our devices and find your device in the list. Now, this is a Nexus 5X, some things listed under a Google phone, but it is actually a phone manufactured by LG. So Lineage has it under Google, Twerp has it under LG. So ultimately, you're going to be hunting for this code name, Bullhead, anytime you're dealing with this particular phone. So here, there's a few different ways to install it. One of these is there is an app method. You can install it via an app method, but your phone has to be rooted. Note, we are not rooting the phone. Uh, I do not recommend rooting a phone. It potentially has too many issues with it. Uh, so I don't like to do root the phone necessarily. We also have the ability to install it uh, utilizing a previous installer. So we can update it with just installing it. And we're going to use the fast boot method, which is going to require the Android ADB and SDK tools on your computer. I'm using Arch Linux here with the Cinnamon build for those that are curious. And this is always going to give me the latest version of ADB. So if you're wanting to do this, Arch is a pretty good bet. The one thing we're going to do differently here is I'm going to sudo into the fast boot because for some reason the fast boot is not in my um, user privilege list. And rather than fight with that for a temporary thing, I'm just going to use sudo instead. So you want to click on uh, whatever your appropriate thing is here. Grab your individual link, which I have already taken a copy of that. And then now we have some basic steps here. Now I will note that the twerp steps is, is actually missing a step in between your rebooting the bootloader and your uh, flashing. You have to unlock the OEM uh, unlock first, which this command is missing, but we will include it in this video. Um, also, I have the, the download. So what we're gonna do is we start in with our device. So I have my basic Google device over here set up, and this is just, I turned on the phone the first time and uh, you know I, I set it up with literally no data because we're just wiping everything off of it anyway so we're gonna go down into find our settings so inside of your settings you are gonna go down and the bottom we're gonna go find a system and then about the phone and you want to find your build number for your phone and we are going to one two three four five six and seven now it tells us that we are now a developer so if we back up we have a new option that is called developer options we can turn this off by toggling the button up here at the top we don't want to do that the things we want to do there's two settings number one we want to enable OEM unlocking so we're going to enable OEM unlocking. This is going to allow us to unlock the device. Okay, the second thing we want to do is we want to find the USB debugging. So make sure we enable this as well. So now we will have an option up here. It's telling us USB debugging is on. We are going to need to transfer the phone for transfer files in order for that to go. I didn't, not sure if I hit that right, so let me double check. So yes, it is on transfer files. All right, so now that we are over there, we are going to come on over to our command line here. And uh, you can see I've already, I was testing to make sure things are working um, just prior to doing this. So what we're going to do is ADB reboot bootloader. We can actually accomplish this step just by powering off the phone and then holding the volume down and the power button at the same time but we're already connected via the terminal and the USB bridge. So we're just gonna do that. And you can see we are now in the bootloader mode. 
Now the step that is missing on this step is we need to fast boot flashing unlock. Since this did not set up fast boot in my user list and rather than fight with that, I can simply go in and do, um, I can simply go in and just do sudo instead, no big deal. And we're going to go flashing unlock. And then what this is gonna do is we'll notice on our phone after I enter my password, we'll notice on the phone that it gives us the ability to unlock the bootloader. It is defaulted to no. And we're going to very carefully find the volume up switch, move this up, say yes, unlock the bootloader, which may void the warranty. That's okay with me. We're going to hit the button. And now if we notice at the very bottom of the screen, now the device state says unlocked. That is exactly where we needed to get to. So now with our un device state unlocked and we are ready to go, now what we're going to do is we are going to transfer the file over. So what I'm going to do is sudoing again. Anytime I'm going to use fast boot, I'm going to sudo. Whoop. There we go. We're, and we're going to flash and recovery. So this is the recovery application. And we are going to use the uh, the individual file. So I'm grabbing 3.3.1-0 bullhead. I just typed in the first couple letters, hit tab, and it's going to autofill. And it's sending the recovery, and it says it has now finished. So now we're going to sudo fastboot and reboot the device. Okay, now we are getting this login screen over here. It's basically, this is something you're just going to pretty much permanently see that uh, it's going to go ahead and um, um, just show you the uh, fact that it's been unlocked. So now we want to mount, we want to enter a password to mount. So um, I just wanted to make sure I, I hit a password in there, um, which I think I can actually skip that step in all honesty. Okay, so now that we are here, we can install applications, we can wipe the device, we can back up, we can restore, just a variety of different things. We're just gonna go ahead and hit reboot. It'll reboot to the system. We can power off recovery or the bootloader. Reboot into the system and it should reboot the phone back into its normal thing. Now this, uh, your device will say this, it just is an indication that the bootloader is disabled. So now the phone should boot perfectly fine into the existing operating system. And of course, what you're going to need to do at this point is you might have to reset up the device. So let me go ahead and just wait for this to boot up and then we'll see what this looks like. Now that this is set up, you can now proceed with either just keeping your phone like this or you can go ahead and um, you can install a custom ROM to this, whichever you would like to do.